Let's talk. Women talk. Hi, I'm Lee San. I'm currently the Vice President of the Terminal 5 Planning Team in Changi Airport Group in Singapore. Actually, since young, I've always been very interested in science and math. I guess I always had a, a curious mind, even though when I was still young. And from there, the interest developed over time. And I think it was almost a very natural decision for me to pursue engineering. So I wanted badly to get a scholarship to go overseas to study. And during my time, I recall um, I was the second batch uh, for Women's SAF Merit Scholarship. So 2000, I earned my wings and I became a helicopter pilot. So I was uh, being sent to the uh, what we call 125 Squadron, which is a Super Puma Helicopter Squadron, and we specialize in search and rescue. And then uh, in 2000 and Six, and I was uh, selected to become the first female full-time ADC to the President of Singapore. I had the honour to serve uh, the late Mr. President Snowden for four years and I learned so much from him and from the job. 2010, um, when I was 35, I decided to take a bold step in life. I decided to leave the Air Force and move on into the private sector and uh, join Chiang Airport Group. Started off in the budget terminal actually, as the head of budget terminals. And after the budget terminal stint, I went on to head the uh, Terminal 4 Program Management Office. Currently, I'm the Vice President in the Terminal 5 Planning Team, uh, specifically focusing on future systems and looking at how innovations will be able to help us to figure out how we can incorporate uh, some of these latest uh, technologies, combine them into different solutions customized for the airport environment uh, to help solve problems that we face at work. I think in life, every step builds on to support the next. So for me, uh, I guess going to engineering school and earning the degree was only the ticket to enter into this working world. And with the training in Air Force, uh, particularly pilot training, which is very, very rigorous, uh, it has, I would say, sharpened me in a very, very critical way. For girls who are interested to pursue careers in the field of STEM, first of all, they must be prepared to work very hard and not let the gender uh, hold them back at all. Having that space to experiment, to make mistakes to fail is really, really important. They should not be too bothered at all by, you know, stereotypes or by numbers or what people tell them to do. Follow their heart, follow their passion and I think they'll get far. I think empowerment is really having that full freedom uh, to pursue your passion, your ambition in life. Feel that we are not alone. I hope that both boys and girls will get the empowerment from their seniors, their parents, their teachers to uh, be able to pursue what they dream of in life.